Man, I am looking at this list of writing prompts. I, I typed in writing prompt generator nonfiction, and I got something called 50 creative nonfiction prompts from the thejohnfox.com. And these prompts are fucking great. Most of them are, like, literally too good for this podcast. Like, they're a little bit too high concept. All of them I could do. Like, every single one, I immediately was like, oh, that would be good. But it's too detailed, and I don't feel like doing it right now. Some of these I probably will eventually do, because some of them are about my past and, like, stuff I wanted to talk about. But right now I'm thinking more in the present. I'm not really wanting to do another Journey Back Through Time episode. Um... So here's one that I stopped on, the 16th idea. It says, what do you want to write? Oh, wait, no, no, it doesn't. I wrote, I fucking read this wrong. It says, what do you want more than anything in your life? Write about the burning hot core of your desire and how that desire has changed over your life. I thought it said, what do you want to write more than anything in your life? I just read the word write into the sentence. I'm a little tired. It's three o'clock in the morning, but, um... That's hilarious that I misread that. Oh, now I don't know which one I want to answer. Because, like, I liked the idea of what do you want to write more than anything. But that's also, there's not a clear answer for that. So what do I want more than anything in my life? The burning hot core of my desire and how that desire has changed over my life. Fuck, man. Uh, well, what I want more than anything... Okay, I, I'm going to give a very specific answer, because I think I have an idea of where I want my future to go, and it's kind of a step-by-step -step process. So, in 2018, I want to get married to May. Um, I want to move to Atlanta and have all the other PCP guys move there. In the process of all this happening, I want to figure out how to plump up my career. I want my main channel to be more successful. I want my side channels to be more manageable. I want to be able to be a human content machine without it taking up so much of my time, if that makes sense. Um, or just to explore avenues where I, I'm putting, like, at the current time of this recording, I'm doing too many long form content. Like, I'm doing too many podcasts, and, like, it's at a point where I can only do a few of them in a day. I want to be able to do 12 things in a day, you know, as opposed to two. And then to be able to take on bigger projects because I've already done all the smaller ones. Um, which, in many ways, this, is, this project itself is a part of. So, I want to consolidate my, my shit, figure out exactly what, what my game plan is for the year. And make a lot more money. I want to expand my empire. I want to make six figures next year. That's my goal. This year, rather. At the time you're listening. 2018, my resolution is make six figures. So I'm going to get married, make six figures, move to Atlanta, start doing projects with my friends in Atlanta. Like I want to hang out with them more. You know, Have friends I can hang out with and make projects with. Um, and I want to see... If we can create something bigger, bigger than uh, what we've been able to do individually, you know, see if we can create a, a conglomerate of sorts. And simultaneously, while I'm doing that, I want to phase out my involvement in the Internet. I want to become a guy who's on that show and, like, you know, on, like, whatever the PCP's show is, and who has my own content, but I am not in the comments. I am not in the discussion. I'm not on social media. I don't want to be on that stuff anymore. I want to be just a guy who creates content and views content. C consume and create. And, um, you know, fill more of my time with doing shit. Like, what I'm really hoping is that, like, if we all live in Atlanta and I hang out with my friends and do projects with them, then it'll be like, you know, I spend some time with May. I s probably most of my time with May. I spend a bunch of time with my friends. And then whatever time I have left is for my work by myself. There is no time for the Internet. There is no time for talking to people online. There is no time for being a public persona and making videos about every little minutia of my day. 
because I have too many projects to be working on. You know, I want to be working on projects so big that I don't have time to be a human content machine, you know, uh, and yet I still find a chance somehow. Like, I just want to be working on bigger and better things. And I want to be making a shit ton of money and uh, living semi-lavishly. Then I want to do that for a few years. And once everyone's established, once all of my friends are hashtag making it, you know, once, uh, once, the, once the, the show is a well-oiled machine and everybody's successful and nobody really needs me around anymore, that's when I'm going to bail on the country. I'm going to go to Japan, travel around, like, you know, I'm really hoping this will be by the time I'm 30. I want to start traveling. And um, I don't know if we'll have a kid by then or if we'll wait even longer. I have no idea how long it'll be before May and I have a kid. We both want to, um, but not anytime soon. So, you know, but at some point I'm going to travel around and, you know, May and I will see the world, live in different places, and, uh, you know, depending on how we feel about different places we've been, either settle down somewhere or come back to the U.S. and have a kid here. I don't know. But eventually we'll have a kid. And by the time I'm doing that, I don't want to be uh, this like type of creator by then. I want to be someone who makes really big things. Like I want to be somebody who writes books or, or something like that. You know, so, something bigger. Um in a way that makes sense for me, in a way that will give people the value they hope for, you know? Like, I don't want it to be content, like, when, when AVGN makes a movie and everyone's like, we would have rather you just made a fucking another YouTube video, you know? I want it to be stuff that people understand there's no way I could have made it without putting more effort in, and, like, they're getting an experience nobody else could have made. Like, the problem with something like the AVGN movie is it's just a bad movie, like, somebody else can make a good movie. We didn't need AVGN to make a movie. We needed AVGN to make AVGN. But there's things that I can do, I think, that nobody else could, that everybody will be glad that I did it, instead of, you know, constantly putting out podcasts, <laughs> like my life is currently. But we're talking about the far future. And everything's going to be about moving towards that. Again, I think of time very differently from most people. I think of myself as at the tip of an iceberg at all times, you know, like the, the, the iceberg is, uh, I mean, I guess I might, I, I will say I'm at the water of the iceberg. Like if we're being, I'm 26, I can't still be at the tip of the iceberg, but like there's a lot of iceberg left, you know, and, uh, I've got a long way to go, a long way to travel. It's possible in 10 years, nobody who's consuming my content now will be the people consuming it then. But, um, you know, who knows what the content will even be? Who knows what the world will even look like? Maybe one day um, all this privilege will not be afforded to me. And I'll be, like, drafted to Nam or something. How has this changed over time, though? Um, uh, it hasn't changed that much. Like, I don't think my long-term goals have been that different. It's always been create art, make a shitload of money, do whatever I want. Like, that has always been my general goal. What kind of art that is has changed. I would say the biggest thing that's changed is just not caring about, like, um, being admired or, like, uh, looked, not looked up to, but, like, I care less and less about being a voice in the community and being um, um, influential. Even though I think my influence is one of the more interesting things I have, and I definitely want to explore it more, like, the fact that I have it means it's worth looking at and, like, doing things with, but I don't want to remain influential forever. I don't want to always be somebody who's, like, you know, a figurehead for ideas and change. Um, like, a lot of my, like, actionable videos and stuff like that, I don't want to be doing that forever. There's still a lot of stuff I want to do with it, and um, I hope in the next year or so it might even be a focus of my content, but 
I don't want it to last. I want that to be, you know, you fight when you're young. You don't fight when you're old. Um, I want to eventually, I don't know, I just hate being admired. And I hate, like, and that's not true. I like being admired, but I hate the way I'm admired. I hate open season admiration. Let's put it that way. I'm okay with, like, having a pupil, you know, or, like, having people close to me who understand me and look up to me but I don't like being an open public figure where everyone's kind of projecting their needs onto me that's the part of it I don't like um but I don't know it's it's hard to put this in a way that like people will actually understand what I mean because I'm describing a very loose feeling in more concrete terms than are actually applicable so you know, take what I'm saying with a grain of salt. <laughs>